Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us talk about custom serializer fields. So currently we have these fields which are already mentioned in our models. But suppose with these fields, maybe I need to calculate something and I need to show them. So that means this usually happen when we talk about ratings. This usually happens when we talk about length. Uh, maybe here I need to display one more field which currently have length of our name suppose for example so what I can do is I can create a specific method let me jump here and talk about this in a practical way and let me talk about this field name as length of name so I'm going to call this as length of name then I need to use these serializers and then dot and then I need to use serializer method field Now what this does is we can define a method which calculate this length of our name. So I'm going to call this as length of name. Now we can define a custom method that is going to calculate this length of our name and we will get this name field in our this in our response. Now I need to define a method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a method here and I'm going to call it as get underscore and then this exact name which is my variable name right now and here this is going to take our self and also our object now this object has access to everything that is our id name as well as description for each element so suppose i need to return the length of our name what i'm going to do is i'm going to return and i'm going to utilize my object so let me calculate this length let me call this as length and I'm going to utilize my object dot and here I have access to name and let me calculate its length and I'm going to return this one. That's it. So what we did is we created this new extra field using serializer method field. Now we have this variable length name. What I'm going to do is utilize this new method. That means I'm going to create it get underscore and then this variable name we have access to this object that means I can access each element of our field individually here I'm going to use this object dot name and we are calculating this length you can directly return this and it should work fine if I save this one get back here try to refresh this one you can see I got a length of 14 which is this here I get a length of 18, here I get a length of 15 and here I get a length of 3 that means 1, 2 and 3. I hope you got the idea what we are talking about. We are calculating some custom field that is not inside our model, that is not inside our views but we are adding them inside serializer. Now this usually help when we need to add maybe we have two timestamp and we need to calculate the duration we can add a custom function here custom method and we can return that duration or maybe we need to calculate automatic ratings we can do that or maybe something else so these custom method works very well this was a quick example to make you understand about this serializer method field if you want to understand more about this, I strongly recommend to jump onto the documentation and here go to serializer fields. Then you have to scroll down a bit. You will see serializer method field. Now you will also get the right example. The right example is days since joined. So this usually happened if you see the time appears about related to comments. You see when a specific employee joined. Instead of calculating or adding a new field in our model, what we can do is we can add this in our serializer. That's it. And you can also see our syntax. I hope you got the idea how to define this one, how to use this one. That's it. This was a pretty quick lecture to discuss about this custom field. Now from the next lecture, let us also view again about our models. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.